Yes, of course it does. The name is here, we bear the same name. But many things, and this is what God was saying to this church. Yes, I know you were that then, but this is what you are now. You understand? I know thy works. I know thy works. I know I what you have done. And I know what now. You're dead. You're not like that yesterday. And they, and they say, up. <laughs> you understand? So you humble know that they, they, they humble have the name and they humble being seen as the church that they used to. And God has said, if you don't repent quickly, listen to what I have come. Seven so can go speak represents seven church. Each one of you may have come with few can go speak. So you see where the seven wing up church? Mm-hmm. Now come move. Theo can go stick. That's what I'm saying. Teacher, if I may, when I came in, um, um, the, the, the other teacher was speaking about um, transmission. Um, was talking about transmission. And um, the young people now can um, 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 resonate with this because with the old AI that is on the scene and the internet and the different um, sites, what you call them, apps or whatever they are called, now we realize that the trans transmission of the gospel is everywhere. And with these technologies now, whatever language the word of God was written in, it can be translated with just a press of a button to your language. So nobody will be left out and no one can be excusable. You understand? Nobody can give any excuse. So the persons might be wondering, oh, then will the gospel reach here and reach there? It's going to reach through the same transition mode. Whatever, WhatsApp, what do you call it? One, TikTok, all of it up then. You understand? Meta, whatever, the word of God is going to go through these mediums and it's going to go to the end of the world. So, I don't know, but I, I don't know when God is coming, but guess what I think? His coming is not far because the word of God is going to the end of the world. Before I'm just looking at, I'm, I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at, at, at these churches, and I'm looking at us, and, and, and I'm, I know that the letter were written to them, but it, it is extended to us, right? And when I look at, at how sometimes we feel to ourselves how much we are how great we are and, and because we feel that we are great and so we, we start sometimes to want to look down at and, and others because if you're looking up and to the church and to the angel of the church of Ephesus right this is I'm, I'm reading from Revelation so I don't know if I'm going too far tell me the teacher because I'm not really I look to a quarter let me just uh, go through the Bible and to the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things, said, He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, and, and who walked in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, I know thy work, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars. Hmm? Okay, all right. This is the only thing I have to move far, so I'll leave it. <laughs> Before we go into the question, does anybody else have anything they wish to say? If not question for study and discussion. The superscription of Revelation 1, 1 to 3 reveals seven links in the process of revelation. 
fill in the blanks with these links. How is each important in the process? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must surely come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto the servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and all of the things that he saw. Blessed is he that witness and they that hear the words of his prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Okay, so Virgin, what is link what?
reference. They were the messengers for children. They brought the message down to John. I think it's revelation. Revelation 1 1. The revelation of, Christ, of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant the things which must surely come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant. Jesus came to save us as he was. Who said no? Okay. Could Jesus come to save us as he was? As he was oh. Divine? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> because if he came to us in that form, it would benefit us nothing. Because he's God. We're just going to look at him and say. So, so John, John as a part of the link was important because the angels are divine. divine. And then some of us might see them when they come to warn us and run, don't it? All kind of things they might have rejected. So what God has to do, He has to use someone. Bring, bring somebody low. Yeah, in someone that you, yeah, in you mind that you can communicate with. Because not everybody can communicate with angels, you know. You have to be a special person. If you notice, John was a special person, so the word of God could come to whom? John. To John. Because we also have to remember that anybody that writes the words of God is not an ordinary person. Am I right? Yes. Because the Bible said, yes. if the Bible was written by whom? Only men of God, as they were what? As they were moved are inspired by the Holy Ghost. So dear, dear one, then based on the state that the churches were in, they could not handle it. They definitely could not handle it. So John as the link there was important. Just like how Mary in the link of Jesus coming was important. And that is why some people worship him. Heal Mary, mother of. You understand? Because Jesus had to come to normal means. Normal means. Right? So you have to find somebody normal flesh humanity but 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 may i ask you a question like how you have a night pastor mm -hmm. i'm wondering as you mentioned mary why is mary not in the lane <laughs> no because 
her, she had run her leg off the race. Okay. I just want, and I just and she, pa she passed off the button to, to Jesus. And then the button passed off and passed off and now we reach it. John. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I, I'm just kind of using it to, to just bring to, to life yes. what, what, the, the importance of John in the link. Because we have to understand that the, the, the natural man or the man with a natural mind at the time cannot understand or cannot handle the spiritual things coming straight from the source. There has to be somebody, someone to bring it down to a level, to our level, so we can understand. Teacher. Mary's role, I said to this, Mary's role was just one role Mary had yeah, was to be the bearer of the second link. Understand, man. I just want to say that, you know. But, but, but uh, there's something that I want to bring out also. Um, that even though the angels had that kind of level of esteem, I think it's Revelation 22, the first lesson. Yeah. Even though they, 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 they were the bearers, they came with a message unto yeah. John. Yeah. And John bowed down before them. You know what the angels say? No bow before me, you know. Me and you are servant. Yeah. But you see, it's like some of us have forgotten that we are mere servants. Yeah. That we are mere workers. You understand? So it's like some of us are esteeming ourselves higher than even the angels of God. Yeah. You understand? So we want to come back to reality, come back to earth, and realize that, guess what? We are all workers. You understand? We all depend on the same level. The angels said, bow before me, bow before God. Amen. What is link five and how oh, is that link important? Sister Reed. Link five. He writes the pro um, John writes the prophecy. The letter. Yeah, the letter. How is the letter important to the 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 example to unto us that guess what you start with a commendation yeah. you understand you speak about the good and then you speak about the bad yeah. because even um you, you have somebody doing your job evaluation or you are now set to do somebody's evaluation even in the church yeah. you understand because you will appoint workers yeah. you will appoint workers and once you appoint workers you're going to bring these workers at a point at a level to say, all right, I have seen your work, 
But you need improvement here. Yeah. You need improvement there. I like how you did that. I like how you did that. But this needs to be improved. You understand? So we want to take the same model of first encouraging and then we speak about the negative after. So the letters are just merely constructive criticism. Yes, what is linked and is important. The importance of linked The importance of linked I think this is one of everything is important. But after all the links has done their part, this part leads to us. It, it leads to who? No, I rather. If we say it leads to the church, who it leads to? Us. We the people. So you see, this, to us, this is the most important part because this is our leg. Where it needs. Yeah, that's what church. This is our leg of the race. So this part is very important to us. Now, we have to make sure that we don't find ourselves like these seven churches. Because if we do that, what happens? Well, we write the same script. The link break. Well, we write the same script, Papa. And they say that the chain is as weak as it was. Weak as it was. It's as strong as it was. So this is our leg, and we have to make sure that we run our leg perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Whoever run race, whoever the track and field. <laughs> How you do track and field? Nice. So if they put you in lane five and you end the race in lane six, what is wrong with you? Disqualified. You will be what? Disqualified. Disqualified. So you have to make sure you run this race with what? Patient. The race that is set what? Before you. Having who? Jesus as your what? Your author and finisher of your faith. Because of faith run this, you know. Nobody checks out your foot. <laughs> you cannot run this one with your foot. A faith run this one, church. You understand what I'm saying? So this is our leg. And, and, and this is that we spread the what? The good news. Talk about the letter. Talk about the prophecy. Talk about the testimony. This is our land. Sister Everett, what is Link 7? Link 7 is here. Where they hear it. 
hear the prophecy, we know that the end is come. When all the hearers hear the prophecy, the end is coming or has come. We as the era of the word, we inherit a blessing when we read the prophecy that John wrote in Revelation and we accept it. As he said, that we take it to heart. So every word that John wrote in Revelation, we must take it to heart. And as it also tells us what to look forward, what will happen in the future. Not only that, that it also tells you that there are certain things that you should not do. If you do these things, you will not um, inherit the new kingdom. Die, 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 die
child of God, yung child of God, yung child of Revelation 16, verse 15. Look, I come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed so as not to go naked and shamefully exposed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes.
to be a kingdom of priests. Revelation 1 verse 6, 1 Peter 2 verse 9 to 12. It is important for the topic of the letter because to prove that it wasn't any, it wasn't man who wrote it, but it came from God. that we 
you have been reading earlier. We hear the word, we put, keep them in our hearts according to the scriptures, and then those who are chosen, then those who are, what was those with that one? The first, the first. So, when are we to be a, a kingdom of priests? When all of these are complete and Christ returns, that's when we are to be a kingdom of priests because we said we will reign with him in his new kingdom. So, when we go through the process, we know all of these, all of these sayings. We don't, we don't just hear them, but we do them and become chosen now to reign with Christ. So, okay, question four. We find a doxology in Revelation 1, verse 6b to 8. How does it testify to the glory of God and Christ? How is it an answer to the message that the church received in Acts 1, verse 6 to 11? How is the revelation a sequel to Acts? To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The only covered with crowns, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, says the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. The Almighty. How does it testify to the glory of God and Christ? How does it testify to the glory of God and Christ? 
How is it an answer to the message that the church that the church received in Acts 4 and verse 6? You may have got the beginning and the end. And also verse 7 says, um, All kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Um, verse 8 says, is the, uh, the Almighty. And then the second part is how is it an answer to the message that the church received in Acts 1 verse 11?
that is what you we shall likewise pass through great tribulations. We shall also pass through. But the said I was when you were to the end. How will this contrast with what he sees in his vision? Revelation 1 verse 9. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom of patience of Jesus Christ, was in the eye that is called Papos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. And the question is, how will this contrast with what he sees in his vision? vision he talks about I think in each of the letters he talks about those who endure so if they endure they will receive such and such um, each one of them gets something so I think with patience and the ability to endure there is something to look forward to at the end of that so the, the trials and the tribulation will not be in vain if we can endure.
Yeah. 
be your name. Your name, Father, is glory to be praised. We thank you. We magnify your name. We live your morning, meeting, and afternoon. Father, thank you for this wonderful gift that God made and bring. It gives us joy. It gives us peace. It gives us contentment. It gives us happiness. It gives us everything that man could require. You have it in your wonderful life. So, Father, we thank you all who come this morning before you. Listen, Father, to your prayer. Listen to your honor. Listen. That you desire 